Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Mayuko. Today is the start of a brand new series where I'm gonna teach you about different technologies in under two minutes. We'll introduce concepts, explain things in an easy to understand way, and give you the foundation that you need to dive deeper on your own. This is Tech In Two. So the inaugural topic for today is front-end development, and we're gonna start the timer. So when we're talking about websites, there's a lot that goes on in creating that site. What we typically call the front end of a website is the user interface, AKA the text, buttons, images, and views that you see on the screen to interact with the website or service. So front end development is the practice of creating those interactable interfaces. The term is mostly used to describe the development of web interfaces, but it can be used to describe the development of mobile and desktop interfaces as well. Think about when you need to withdraw some cash. You don't just go up to a pile of money and just grab whatever you can because that would break all the rules of banking. The money you get is probably someone else's and you're probably going to get the wrong amount of money. And that's why we have ATMs. ATMs acts as an interface to make sure that you're only pulling the money that you need from the correct account. So think of the ATM like front end development, where it enables users to interact with the data in a safe and user friendly way. So what's in the stack you might ask? Well, there's three main technologies that are used for front end development. The first is HTML, which helps create the UI elements on the screen. The second is CSS, which is basically a set of rules that helps define the style of a website, including things like font, spacing, and color. And then there's JavaScript, which can also create elements on the screen through libraries, it helps handle events that are happening on screen, and it sends and receives data from the backend. And lastly, what are the important factors when working on front-end development? The first is that tooling and technologies are always changing, so front-end developers always need to stay up to date with the newest stuff. The second is creating a flexible and easy to use interface that can be used by anybody. So making sure that it's accessible and that the UI works on different devices, operating systems, browsers, and screen sizes. And the last is to make sure that you can follow a spec well by being visually detailed oriented and collaborate and communicate well with product managers and designers. And that's it, that's front end development. I hope you like this episode of Tekken 2. There's gonna be another one about back end development which complements this one really nicely. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Comment down below if there are any topics you'd like to see explained in under two minutes. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.